Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. And we're on sauna this week again. Uh, or this week, this <laughs> today, although uh, it's been a few days since I was on Minecraft. Yes, uh, for those following on Twitter, you may have seen pictures in London. I was in London earlier in the week for a business meeting. But there we go. So what are we doing today? Uh, well... Uh, we're going to do some more of our uh, embryonics lab. That's what we're going to do. We're going to head over here. And for those asking, uh, we're not going to go back to Isla Nublar this time. We are going to, well, I am going to change the episodes. E.g. we're going to sort of keep flitting to and from Sauna and Nublar. Because I really want to get cracking on this build. Uh, now, one of the things I really want to do is go back to Nublar as well. Sometimes do the uh, Indominus Rex enclosure again. Uh, the old one, I mean. That's not the new one. So, But today we are on Sauna and we are recreating the lab. Now, I've had a few questions on this and thank you very much for all your comments. It's great to read comments. I'm still trying to answer them all. It does take me a bit of a while. So, uh, while I'm answering those, I can't make videos. So... Uh, Anyway, I love the comments. Thank you very much indeed. But to answer a few of your questions, uh, right, where do we start? Uh, well, you're asking about when I'm doing this, that and the other. I know I say soon. As soon as I get round to it, I do have a full-time job as well as this is a uh, hobby, as you can see. Uh, but I do like building things to scale and get them all right. Anyway, coming back to this, this is the 2000 now 2016 version what i'm doing is i'm rebuilding isla sauna as it would look like today and i know i was asked by someone whether i do the old isla sauna i'm not going to do the old isla sauna so that's why all these buildings are all like they are today rebuilt all cleared out so you'll still see the original buildings but like refurbed you know if you uh uh, go to if you're in uh, so most of my watches are probably in school college uh, when you get your school painted or a new room gets built or whatever it's called a refurb and for everybody else of course all the adults that watch <laughs> we see refurbs all the way through our life I know the building that I work in I've probably seen three refurbs and in fact this week we had some new carpets yes came in went back to my office this week and we had new carpet and I went and said oh what do you think about new carpet someone had never noticed anyway coming back to this so I'm still not 100% but this is why I am going to build this but uh, what we've got to do here is I'm not going to put the roof on at all I'm going to start building this to scale uh, and uh, going to do the walkway now one thing is that's there there's literally a wall here uh literally a wall uh, and let's see how this fits that's quite all right actually if i probably should yeah should actually do that and then put the wall in in there and the wall actually goes all the way across now i'm using screenshots uh of the original movie uh to get this exactly right and funny enough it will come to that uh does come to this wall and uh, then we'll go around in fact i'm going to leave that because that's a wall and so we can come back to do uh, the floor in here as well because in the book it mentions before you get to this area we're going to there are some changing rooms to change into your like uh, scientific robes i'm sure you all know the white robes of a scientist uh, so these two rooms are going to be here. I'm going to have a corridor and then I'm going to put some rooms in here. So that's for that wall. And uh, so that we've got to do that. And we'll come back in a minute. But uh, I'm just going to do that out to there. So I'm going to keep that. This wall is literally identical to the other side as well. So when I get to here, uh, in fact, what I might do, that might be ideal to put the pillar although I do want to keep I do want to keep the same pillars I want to keep the factory looking like a factory as such so this will come all the way to the other side so you could see a mess room and a changing room to be honest I need to go back to the book to have a look at it 
uh, looking at the pictures that might be just not quite like how I want it so let's just let me just have a quick look and come back okay we're back and uh, I've done a little bit of a walkway and I've put the room in and I've put the floor in as well <laughs> that's always the way keep doing stuff and I put a couple of windows in here but I haven't put the sort of wall in along here and doors now it's nice to I like this uh, the way this fits like that see that I like this design but I don't want to do I want to sort of make this like a corridor with the doors and let's just have a look at that I mean probably want to actually keep that because it's got a it's got an iron superstructure and I'm using this for the iron and then we can put it in it's sort of a corridor as such and uh, yeah that makes sense there but it, doors are there I think I'm going to put some double doors into ooh yeah, I suppose that's about right really uh, so the walkways we're going to do that in a minute I'm just going to lay the plan out here can have a look at, I didn't get to the chance to look at the book really uh, the other thing is I didn't get a chance to finish off this uh, it's a bit of a it's a pity that the glass doesn't meet up with the walls but hey that's all right you can still walk to here and look out through the glass that's absolutely fine uh, so as this is just a corridor we'll just leave it a corridor the doors I don't, I don't really want to put doors in to be honest because the scale doesn't match Minecraft doors once I start putting doors in, it doesn't look right anyway what else is going on yeah uh, I've been watching a few videos really this week oh raining stop that rain let's go back to that one here. rain on there uh, yeah one thing when you make videos is you don't keep up with the people but I'm just going to mention a couple of people in the video because you know I've got well I haven't got any sisters but I've got brothers uh, one particular one Wild Trekker who I comment on quite a lot uh, he is working well he's actually joined a new server uh, and uh, is having a great time over there yeah it's on Eridor 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 it's a uh, a closed multiplayer server they're using 1.9 Minecraft so I'm sort of learning about 1.9 I do like some of the new stuff in what I'm disappointed about 1.9 is it doesn't have loads of new blocks as a builder I want more blocks uh, but uh, yeah while Trekker plays in my check out these cool uh, channels uh, and I'm also following I've been looking at uh, Ironstone Mine he's also a link on there he's got a most excellent survival dinosaur series where he's doing survival and he's also using uh, dinosaurs as well as well and I really like him he's uh, I've been watching all his episodes and he's able to produce quite a few more episodes than I am in the week uh, so I've been watching that so I ch suggest you go and have a look at my list of people that I like watching and go and have a look at that right let's come back to this build now one thing about this build is there's a load of pillars that run along this side now I could I might actually stick to the let's have a look well I might stick to some of them so see this one here uh, it would be uh, it would be good to do that. There we go. That seems like a good pillar. Let me just stick that up like that, and that's how they. Now I think it may be better to stick to two. This might make a lot more sense. So what I'm going to have to do now is going to play around. Oh, what is that? Oh. And I need to put some lighting in because it's quite dark down there where they run out. Uh, quite interestingly, the way the movie is, they come down the steps, come down to here. The first raptor pokes its head through the glass. Then they all run back down here. And then they all run some out here and then end up in the kennels. So it's not even that end, it's down here. Now what I'm going to do is, on the map, this is sort of separated. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this the kennel house. 
so I'm going to make a sort of corridor here from the back corner through that's what I've decided to do in fact I'm going to have to look at this now because what I'm going to have a look at is the screenshots I just want to check out whether I'm going to do these actually yeah, it might not work let's have a look it might do Let's see what it looks like. Right, I'm going to do a bit more building and then come back. I'm going to carry on chatting as well this episode. Do some chatting uh, and talk about some of the comments you made. Right, let's go and do some more pillars and then come back and show you. Well, here we go. Got some super structure in now in terms of this building. I'm not going to put the roof on until after we do it. And I've started putting the walkway in as such anyway uh yeah got back on track as well i was just thinking uh one thing i was uh been looking at another person i've been watching recently is dadcraft 73 because maybe you don't know well you won't know actually because i've also got a keen interest in ancient egypt uh so i've got a few interests you do when you get to my age uh but dadcraft 73 is part of the red or server with my brother uh, and uh, also he's got his own super duper channel he's done some fantastic survival builds another person that builds in survival and spends a lot of time doing that so it's all credit to these people that do series and build in survival and he does this Egyptian as he's on the SMB server and uh, he does this super duper uh, Egyptian stuff which I'm watching at the moment as well so what else anyway 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 right some of you who have been following me from a long time I thank you for all those who have followed me from my old channel which I lost uh, I'm not going to go into the history of that but on that old channel uh, because of dadcraft 73 I was looking at his survival stuff and me and my brother wild trekker uh, had a wildcraft SMP server and I was looking at some of the 1.8 stuff that we'd done like uh, we found this I think it was six or seven spider spawners and we built uh, a massive uh, uh, grinder out of that and I do like my grinders and do like so, so I thought about that because I <laughs> when I look back I've got a lady 200 episodes that no one's ever seen but what I was going to do was I'm going to re-upload the Wildcraft SMP just to see what people think. Uh, even though it's 1.8 and I know 1.9 now, people might be interested to watch it. And it, it's not going to cost me any time, so I'm still able to reduce these videos, uh, but still upload some extra videos. So in between watching the Jurassic Craft videos, you can probably have a look at that. So it would be really cool and uh, I'm going to upload those. Also I did a load of other survival videos as well but again there were some really good videos in between so uh, if people like the survival wildcraft SMP then I might what I do is might do the best of series so upload some really critical videos rename them and upload them so do think about that I will it will not affect me doing these episodes it won't slow me down but it just gives some more content for people and uh, I had a look at them I was looking at them over the weekend I thought it was quite good actually so that's what I'm going to do as well just to give you a bit more content everybody but this is my passion as you know and I'm please I know people want to, me to build this and they want me to build that but as I say yeah I if I did this full time, then I could do. <laughs> I could spend a lot of time on it, but I haven't. So I'm going to sort of go. I tend to build how I feel and what I want to do next, like this. I really want to do this for a long time, and you can see here. This is how I build. So you're sort of having a, a chit chat video because I took this with my brother, Wild Trekker. I thought I might as well have a good chat. So get an episode out quite quickly. You won't see much building, but you'll see how I actually work in practice because a lot goes behind the scenes to putting videos in that you don't actually see so I like that that actually works very well so looking at I mean the other thing about this is if I get this right what I can do is every so often and it's about two in between you do this so you get one like that and one like that actually actually works very well now 
Yeah, it does show a bit of wire underneath, but I think that might be. So that's every three, isn't it? So, so we can do that. Yeah, look at that. Now, hopefully it's going to work. E doesn't just work. Nah, in fact, it would work if I put it there. It does actually work. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> that wasn't actually put in there as a design feature, but it's just worked just by pure luck. Or maybe it didn't. Maybe it was just fate to do that. Hey, look at that. Uh, maybe it does. it does actually work. So... Yeah, I haven't put the glass in, so I need to go and put all that glass in because this wouldn't look the same. Also, there are some sort of, every now and again, like I would suggest that, there's the pole. Even though there's the metal beams, there's sort of poles that come down as well. So maybe I should... It's a bit weird. They're like poles keeping up the... It's like that. In fact... Just have a look at that and see what it looks like. Is if it interferes with see like that, that actually that actually works. Pity it wasn't middle for diddle. But maybe if I was able to put that in like that as well, it might actually work. Yeah, that actually might work, but I've got to put in in fact if I work at I think there's two incubators in each of the pool areas of maybe three so what I'm going to do it's going to do a bit more with this guys I'm going to watch a couple more videos in between but I'm going to do a bit more with this and that's a two so I just have to do that with that and then I shall come back again but you can see how this puts together there you go if anybody's got any specific questions I was also thinking about doing a Q&A video really as well if you've got any interest in that maybe I can just answer questions in between. Anyway, let's go and do some more building. Well, welcome back, everybody. Hey, I have done absolutely loads, as you can see. I was going to show it at night, first of all, just to show you what I've done. Uh, so, hey, we've got the rooms there. And we come into the new uh, incubators. Yes, the egg incubators and the, where they grow the dinos. Uh, now I've been playing around with the design. This is what I started with, uh, which what I've done is uh, I've used I've used the uh, polished andesite in the center in like a square. These they were on slabs like this, so I put the slabs down. Then I made the shape of the incubator very much like the movie, like that. And then I put the glass on top and I've lit it up. As you can see, it's why I'm showing it at night. Now. Once I got a bit more adventurous, I decided to put the cap on because when I look at it, there is, there is like a, a cap with wires at the back, which uh, goes down the back. So I thought I'll have them like that, uh, which is just as easy because you just do this and, uh, and it looks like it's got a proper cap on, which they did. They had like a metal beam over the top, but uh, I can't do the last bit. So I'm going to leave that glass open and then literally I have put in the this bit here which is just a bit of just to make it look like there's a bit of cable in oh look what's a ha <laughs> our friendly akilovator is testing out just like the movie uh, i posted some pics with the akilovator like uh, hiding behind the glass before so i sort of left it here for the video yeah it's our favorite akilovator i just thought i'd bring it in here for the episode then obviously take it away <laughs> because if you remember the film that's what it was now uh, let's just do that right so how did I do the uh, the the bits that these at the back I call them like the the I forgot what they call cryo tubes that's what we can have cryo tubes remember alien so what I did is all I have to do is this take this round put to uh, on each one and then take out the center and then what I did is put a center piece in there then just did this I'll show you oh no that wasn't supposed to happen just do this I've been playing around with it it didn't just come up with the idea straight away oh that's not right put it up three lots as I did then you fill it full of water because if you notice it's got water in them let me just show you yeah look at that so you can see the water so you just literally fill the water in the top 
which goes down. It just sort of hide the light. And I did play around uh, with this idea. Ooh, what have I done with me? Get rid of the kilometer. I don't need that anymore. Go with slabs. What? I, what was that? What I did toy around with the idea of doing this look, which I thought was all right, but I really didn't. It didn't sort of. It sort of looked a bit naff. And the only spot I tried this. Uh, and it's sort of, it was sort of all right, wasn't it? <laughs> so in the end, I went for the standard tubes with no light. Uh, so that's what I'm doing all the way along. And then I just literally capped it off like that. So then we've got all the tubes, but I can't put any dinos in uh, to have a look. But on the interesting, what else have I done? Yeah, put all the lighting in. Uh, I've changed the struts. These struts were in the middle, but I thought they took it away uh, from this particular area. Interesting enough, there's also like some tubes down the back here, but I haven't put those in. I've just gone for a standard eight, and these tubes uh, they were only on one side, only down one side of it. Down this side, there was just sort of machinery. But what I thought is because. Uh, at the end it just shows light at the end uh, I really thought that I will do some more so like this bit here literally if I was to come uh, that's one two three so one two three uh, and then what I'll do is come out one like so and put one there because this is the end I suppose I should put two actually uh, no, because that would be an access access point at the end. So maybe I should just put one there to finish it off, really, more than anything else. So we just put the light in. Uh, just put these two all the way around, like so. Not like that. Uh, there we go, like that. Bring that back up. Put the light in the bottom. I probably should have put left that out, but in the end i did this and that'd be quite nice to have this at the end to be honest like so a bit of water in there and then cap it off so there's the tubes as such uh so i'm, I'm going to put some bits and pieces of more scenery in properly but i think about got it i've got the walkway here the walkway where you can walk around the top so that looks pretty cool there we go and it is all looking the right size. That is, you know, the kilobator is the right size uh, as it stands. And then, I, oh yeah, I, did, I hadn't done steps before, had I? So I put the steps in, uh, like so. And they're very steep steps when they walk down. They were really, really like that. So in the end, the only thing we've got are these stones. What I'd really like is some like metal steps. I think, I think Minecraft again needs some of those lovely blocks. Uh, but it gives me the idea now down here what there was down here in fact let's have a look what was down here because they ran round here there's another pillar mm -hmm, another pillar that pillar should really go there should it not equal to that maybe it doesn't matter it does match hey look what we do is bring it up like I think I can just bring it in the corner like that that makes sense doesn't it so pillar there and then pill ah, it fits really well look at that uh, pillar it down back down and then it also adds a bit more light to be honest because that was the only thing under here a bit of light mind you if i did that and did that and then did that that would give some light we put some light underneath and if i just did the same there there now i haven't done this under here oh well, that'll be for next episode because we're hitting the 20 odd minutes barrier again with all that talking at the start uh, right what was down here I know what was down here was some uh, pallets what was just sitting here was these literally these sort of pallets there was one and I'm going to put two and the pallets had water on so perhaps I could just go ah, that's it uh, like that it was yeah, it was just like that, sort of like that. Just about that'll do. Uh, I might actually no, it's the wrong colour. What that needs to be is it was like uh, on the picture. It's much lighter. Let's just go and change. Ah, there we are. That's what should done. It 
just like some pallets with some big plastic containers on not like that size if you ever seen them uh, what I will do is yeah like that they were just sitting there right at the corner just sort of sitting there yep you're looking for some of your friends or the eggs that's the only thing I can't do is just put the eggs I could put the eggs down in fact yeah but then I'd get that message saying eggs would not hatch so I'm not going to get that hey where are you going in fact I'd be, <laughs> I love setting these little ones away it's just a beautiful look elevator isn't it it's gorgeous right yeah so I'm quite happy the only thing I need to think about is the roof uh, I need to go back and look at that because it's got it's the two the roof on the movie was different from the roof on the building so what I've got to do now is sort of do uh, the shape and what I might do is before the next episode just get that in but there you have it there is our cryogenics the first lab and what I've decided to do is uh, if you remember they ran down here uh, and through yeah I need to get some more light in here uh, I wonder if I can just no it's no good that's it do it like that I might have to put some more pillars here that might make a lot of, actually that would make a lot of sense wouldn't it to bring bring the pillars so that I can put some light in here let's just try that no nope, that one yeah no nope, that one that's the one that's the one so if I can get a pillar yeah it's a pity that's a pity there we go we'll have to do that and then we can have the light under here just some light like so nope going under here uh, and then the kennels now that's where it sort of goes awry because I know for a fact they ran down here and supposedly went in the kennels but on the actual map of the island there's not enough room so what I thought was is we shall have some sort of connecting connecting area from here I think we might do just some connecting area from there but that'll be for next time so Thank you very much indeed for watching. I'm glad it's now coming together. This has turned out better than I expected. I was a bit worried about how I was going to do the inside. But if you know the movie, that looks pretty cool. And this is the embryonics. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Please like. If you're new to my channel, please sub. Go back and look at the other videos. And uh, remember, I'm going to upload some other type, older videos as well, which are re going to be uploaded which were on my old channel which is no longer in being but uh, I talked about that at the beginning of this video thank you very much indeed and bye bye for now